Hi friends, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we have to discuss about encoder in DLD, STLD and Digital Electronics course. It is one of the most important concept in these courses. In the previous video, we are already discussed about what is a decoder, how to construct 2x4 decoder, 3x8 decoder and 4x16 decoder and how to construct 4x16 decoder using 2x4 decoder, how to construct 4x16 decoder using 3x8 decoder that can be explained in the examples in the in my YouTube channel Devela Srinivasarao. Go to the playlist called STLD ORR DLD ORR Digital Electronics. You can get all the concepts. Now in this video we have to discuss about encoder. Before going to the encoder concept first we have to know about decoder. A decoder is a combinational circuit that it can accept n number of inputs and it produce 2 power n number of outputs. Hence, we can call it as n into 2 power n decoder. That means, it can accept n number of inputs and it produce 2 power n number of outputs then that combinational circuit is called as a decoder. Now the definition is a decoder is a combinational circuit that accepts n number of inputs and it produces 2 power n number of outputs. For example, we can take 2 by 4 decoder. In that one, so the number of inputs is 2 and the number of outputs is 4. Okay. So n is equal to 2. That means it can take 2 inputs and it produce 2 power n number of outputs. That is 2 power 2. That is 4 outputs we are getting. So hence it can be called as 2 by 4 decoder. Next one in the same way this is a 3 by 8 decoder. So it can take n number of inputs. So that means n is equal to 3. It produces 2 power n number of outputs that is 2 power 3 that is equal to 8 outputs we are getting. So hence the name is 3 by 8 a decoder. Now in the same way 4 by 16 a decoder. So here n value is equal to 4. The decoder can accept 4 inputs and it produce 2 power n number of outputs that is 16 outputs are generated hence it can be called as 4 by 16 decoder okay so these are the commonly used decoders 2 by 4 decoder 3 by 8 decoder 4 by 16 decoder now we can go to the encoder an encoder is a combinational circuit that can accept 2 power n number of inputs and it produces n number of outputs. Okay, that means an encoder is a combinational circuit. It can take 2 power n number of inputs and it produces n number of outputs. Then that can be denoted by 2 power n into n. Now observing the block diagram of decoder and encoder, here an encoder can take n number of inputs and it produce 2 power n number of outputs. Whereas encoder can take 2 power n number of inputs and it produces n number of outputs. By observing these two block diagrams, we can say that an encoder can perform the reverse operation of the decoder. Okay, so whatever the decoder can perform, 
so the reverse of decoder operation is nothing but encoder an encoder can perform the reverse operation of the decoder next one the definition of encoder is an encoder is a combinational circuit that accepts how many number of inputs 2 power n number of inputs and it produces n number of outputs okay here among the 2 power n number of inputs only one input is active based on that based on that input okay it can generate the n number of outputs okay so this is the block diagram of encoder the commonly used encoders are so that is 4 by 2 encoder that is uh, 2 power n number of inputs and n number of outputs so that is 2 power 2 that means 2 power 2 is nothing but 4 so n number of outputs means that is a 2 outputs okay 4 by 2 encoder and the next one 8 by 3 encoder it can accepts 8 inputs and it produces 3 outputs next one 16 by 4 encoder it can accepts 16 inputs and it produces 4 outputs so these are the commonly used encoders 4 by 2 8 by 3 and 16 by 4 okay the example is construct 4 by 2 encoder so the block diagram of 4 by 2 encoder can take four inputs four inputs and it can produce two outputs hence the name of that encoder is 4 by 2 encoder the four inputs are a0 a1 a2 a3 so these are the four inputs of the encoder and it can produce two outputs that is y0 and y1 okay an encoder can take four inputs at a0 a1 a2 a3 and it produce two outputs y0 and y1 hence the name of the encoder can be called as 4 by 2 encoder now we have to construct the truth table in the truth table the first column represents the input column the second column represents the output column what are the inputs are there so that is a0 a1 a2 a3 what are the outputs are there y0 y1 okay among the 2 power n number of inputs, only one output, one input is active at a time. Okay. In the first row, A0 input is active. The remaining inputs are zeros. In the second row, A1 input is active. The remaining inputs are zeros. In the third row, a2 input is active, the remaining inputs are zeros. In the fourth row, A3 input is active, the remaining inputs are zeros. At any given time, among the four inputs, only one input is active at a given time. In the first row, A0 input is active. In the second row, A1 input is active. In the third row, A2 input is active. In the fourth row, A3 input is active. Now, whatever the input that is active, the input binary equivalent can be written at the output. In the first row, A0 input is active. Okay. A0 means that is a zeroth input. What is the binary equivalent in terms of two bits? That is a 0, 0, 0, 0. Next one. In the second row, A1 input is active. Okay. What is the decimal equivalent? 1. 
that one can be converted in the binary form in terms of two bits. So one can be written as 0, 1. 0, 1. Next one. In the third row, A2 input is active. What is the decimal equivalent input? That is 2. 2 can be converted into binary form in terms of 2 bits. Then we are getting 1, 0. Next one. In the fourth row, A3 input is active. What is the decimal equivalent input? That is a 3. 3 can be converted into binary form in terms of 2 bits. So 3 can be write as 1, 1. Okay. So that means at any given time, only one input is active. Whatever the input is active, that input can be converted into binary form that can be written at the output. Here, A0 input is active. So, A0 means the decimal value is 0. That can be written as binary form in 0, 0. Next, A1 input is active. That can be written in binary form as 0, 1. Here, A2 input is active. That can be written in binary form as 1, 0. In the fourth row, A3 is active. The decimal equivalent is 3 that can be written in binary form as 1, 1. Now, we have to write the logical expressions for each and every output. Okay. So, first I am taking Y0 output. Y0 output. So, Y0 is equal to here 1 is there. So, this one belongs to here. The corresponding input is here. What is the input name? A1. So that is A1 plus next one here 1 is there. The corresponding input is 1. What is the name of that input? That is A3. So Y0 is equal to A1 plus A3. A1 plus A3. Next Y1 is equal to okay. In the Y1 column where the 1s are present. Here 1 is there. The corresponding input combination is uh, this one. What is the name of that input? That is A2. Plus. Here 1 is there. The corresponding input combination is this one. Here 1 is there. What is the name of that input? That is an A3. So the, logic expre the logical expressions for output Y0 is equal to A1 plus A3. Next, the logical expression for Y1 output is A2 plus A3. Now, we have to draw the circuit diagram. Here, this is A3, A2, A1, A0. So, straight lines we have to write. So, Y0 is equal to A1 plus A3. So, A1 means this one. Next, A3 means this one. These two inputs can be sent to 1 R gate. 1 R gate. Then, we are getting Y0 output. So, this is A1 and this is A3. So, A1 and A3 can be send it to one R gate. So then we get the expression Y0 is equal to A1 plus A3. Next one. Next one is output for Y1. Y1 is uh, getting after some after addition of A2 and A3. So A2 means this one. A3 means this one. These two inputs can be send it to R gate. So then we are getting Y1 output. So Y1 is nothing but A2 plus A3. A2 plus A3. So this is A2 and this is a A3. So this is the logic diagram we are getting for 4 by 2 encoder. 4 by 2 encoder. So, 4 inputs I am taking and 2 outputs we are getting. So, this is called as 
Hence the name of the encoder called as 4 by 2 encoder. In this way, we have to construct 8 by 3 encoder and 16 by 4 encoder in the next videos. Okay, so this is the block diagram of 4 by 2 encoder. This is the truth table of 4 by 2 encoder. And this is the logical expression for each and output of the 4 by 2 encoder. And this is the logic diagram or circuit diagram for 4 by 2 encoder. Okay, in the next videos, we have to discuss about 8 by 3 and 16 by 4 encoders. Thank you. Thank you one and all for watching this video. If you like this video, click on the like button and uh, click on the bell button to get the future updates in my YouTube channel. So, Divvela Srinivasarao. If you have any doubts, please put your doubts in the comment section. I will clarify your doubts and also WhatsApp number also given in the channel page. So if you have any doubts, please put your doubts in the WhatsApp also. I will clarify your doubts. Thank you. Thank you one and all for watching this video.